Soma is a crazy, highly addictive drug for me. It's almost killed me three different times and I still want to take it. Here's a detailing of the first time I overdosed on Soma. This is the only time I overdosed that I have much memory of. First off, I need to say that Soma causes me to black out, not pass out. After taking a large dose, I would feel high for approximately 20 minutes, then black out and not remember a thing. However, this isn't to say that I wasn't doing anything. I have been told that while blacked out on Soma, I was up and around cooking or doing dishes, albeit while stumbling and slurring my speech. I've held rather incoherent conversations with people while on Soma. I've ended up in other places without remembering anything about how I got there, what I did while I was there, etc. We're talking hours passing by without a single memory of anything. I had taken Soma for about two years for chronic pain without being addicted to it or abusing it. Then my father passed away. That was it for me. I was depressed and hollow. I couldn't sleep. That's when I started to take increased amounts of Soma. At first, it was to help me sleep, but as I started increasing my doses, I started to notice how amazing it felt to take large amounts at once. I have a high tolerance for everything from alcohol to pills, and I build up a tolerance fast. At first, three or four Soma would give me a nice and whole body high. I describe it as a warm melt of all my extremities and an intense euphoria. The euphoria made all of my sadness over losing my dad disappear. I'm not sure if it's the warm melt or the euphoria that kept me wanting more. I imagine that it's the combination of the two. It's a warm, soothing, sink into the couch feeling combined with an intense happiness I'd never felt before or since. Whatever the reason, I couldn't get enough. Pretty soon, four wasn't cutting it. We're talking on Monday, four would work, but Tuesday I had to take five, and then an hour after taking five, I'd take two more. This pattern of increase continued until I was taking eight, 350 milligram tabs of Soma, followed by three more after 30 minutes. The day that I overdosed, I remember taking the eight, followed by the three and having lunch. Yes, I was so caught up that in the middle of a weekday, I was getting high at home. After lunch, I took three more, and that's it. That's all I remember. The following is what I've been told happened. My mother, who lives 3.5 hours away in another state, called me on the phone. She said I was slurring my speech and that I was incoherent. She was too far away to help. She called a relative who sent her son over to take me to the ER. He came to my home and I was locked in my office. I remember locking the door after taking the final three pills. Not because I was trying to hurt myself or anything, but because, and this is devastating and humiliating to admit, I am a stay-at-home mom and my three children are home with me. I knew I was going to get fucked up and I didn't want them to see me. My children are old enough that they would know something wasn't right. They would get scared. That's how dangerous this drug is. I wanted it badly enough that I took it at home, alone, with no one to keep an eye on my three children. It's the biggest regret of my life. When the relative got to my house, he had to break the door open because I was not responding to his calls. He found me on the floor, awake and conscious but somewhat catatonic. He was able to support my weight and help me walk through my house and out to his car. I was blacked out. I walked and don't remember. I don't remember driving to the hospital. I don't remember arriving at the hospital. And I don't remember getting stabbed with IVs. Although I was awake through all of it, slurring my speech, protesting and arguing with nurses, I don't remember a single minute detail. I woke up in the hospital the next day. My aunt had come and stayed with me throughout the night. My children were at a relative's. My husband was working in another state and on his way home. He was very angry about what I had just done to not only myself, but more importantly, what I had just put our children through. And he had every right to be angry. The hospital would not discharge me until I met with a psychologist from the state who had to interview me to determine whether or not I had tried to kill myself. I promised that was not the case, but I know she didn't believe me. From the time I blacked out around 12.45 p.m. till the time I was released from the hospital, a total of 28 hours had gone by. 28 hours that I have no recollection of. Before the doctor released me, he said if my mom hadn't just happened to call from 3.5 hours away, my children would have discovered their mother dead. My sweet 10-year-old daughter and two little sons. 
I almost did that to them. I almost took their innocent, sweet childhoods away from them because of my selfishness and addiction. And this is why Soma is so dangerous. I overdosed two more times after that. I don't remember anything about the other two times. Soma sucked me in, and if it weren't for the fact that I can't get it online or for my doctors anymore, I'd probably still take it. I'd like to think I'd be more careful, but I can't say for sure that I would. I can say that if I were to get my hands on some again, I would end up dead. I have horrible insomnia, and I hadn't slept in four days. That in itself was painful. On top of that, I was getting pretty damn stressed. I kept passing out at the wrong times during the day. I came home and tried to sleep for about an hour, but it was all in vain. Over the summer, I used to pop a few pills to knock me out so I could sleep. I usually think about things before I swallow them, but I was horribly desperate and most definitely was not thinking when I popped six 350 milligram somas at once. Now, I'm pretty tiny physically and even though I did pills frequently, I still had a pretty low tolerance. They kicked in 10 minutes after I took them. I was on the phone with my friend and he said that he had to go and hung up when in all actuality, he hung up and took a cab to my house. I was seeing double by then. I went outside to greet him but couldn't really see him enough to hug him. He went inside and called the ambulance. I spent six hours in the hospital. I had to drink charcoal. I threw up a lot of it. It was a horrible, miserable, disgusting experience. Somas are fun, but take them in stride. Taking a lot of somas is very dangerous, especially if you are a lightweight, like me. The following is a description of possibly the stupidest, most careless thing I've ever done. 8.30, in just two somas, I chewed them up. It's the worst tasting pill I've ever encountered. 9.30, not feeling anything from the first two pills, so I eat one more. 9.40, getting frustrated, so I ate three more. This was a mistake, no doubt. Five minutes later, I was feeling a strong buzz, and I knew it couldn't be the three pills I just took, so I realize I'm fucked, but I don't worry about it. 9.45, spend the next 45 minutes sitting in a chair staring off into space and occasionally laughing. A real deadhead feeling, a complete blank mind, complete lack of thought. 10.30, get up and walk around a bit. Sit down and an hour flies by with me rocking around in a mostly circular motion in my chair. This is called the Soma Shuffle. 11.30, get up and walk around a bit. Walking is a lot of fun. It's about the only way to enjoy this sort of buzz. But I sit down and continue the Soma Shuffle. I pass out with 15 more minutes of this. 3 o'clock. Wake up in the ER feeling very confused. I can remember maybe three flashes of mental images from the time I passed out to now. I had to drink charcoal. Some additional things that maybe should be noted is that I was completely out of it. Two people took me by the arms and walked me a good 300 feet and I don't remember it and never woke up. I also went through some convulsions. This information came from people who saw me on it. Hopefully someone will learn from my mistakes. Some drugs can require patience. It's hard to be patient sometimes. This is understandable. If you're gonna take these or anything else, I suggest starting with one pill and then two and so on, but only after you're positive the last dose you took is completely out of your system and stop increasing the dosage once you get a good effect. This is probably obvious to most people though, but I'm sure there's someone else out there stupid enough that maybe they needed to be told this. Remember, if you are liking this video so far, please be sure to give it a like. Also subscribe if you haven't already. I have plenty more horror trip reports on my channel. There are countless hours of stories that you can binge listening to. 
It is great when you're trying to find a video to fall asleep to. I have many compilations on the channel as well. Those are perfect for sleeping. These stories are also good for entertainment value. I'm sure you'll find many stories that you can connect to or be very interested in. Nonetheless, if you've made it this far, you'll definitely find something else on the channel that you will enjoy. All right, now that's done. Let's move on to the next story. I had a lot of trouble after getting my wisdom teeth removed, such as inexplainable searing pains that sometimes spread across my entire head. My surgeon told me that he did a perfectly good job and that I needed to just move on. I found his answer a little unsatisfactory to say the least, so I visited another oral surgeon from his group who said he found no reason for this problem, but he went ahead and wrote me a script for 24 10 325 Norcos, hydrocodone and acetaminophen. Typically, I'd take 1.5 to 2 of these, 20 milligrams of hydrocodone. Now fast forward a bit. It's been six weeks since the surgery and since I haven't eaten because it hurts so much. I see a dentist who informs me my muscles are in shock from the surgery and the recommended course of action is six days at a low dose of steroids and soma, carisoprodol to relax the muscles, relieve pain, etc. Keep in mind this is just carisoprodol, not a soma compound with aspirin and codeine or whatever. I decided to wait until tomorrow to take the steroids, but I would take the soma just to see how it affected me so I would be able to gauge the effects of the steroids. This turned out to be a good decision. 4pm, I took 20 milligrams of the hydrocodone, no problem there. 8.45pm, took the Soma, my pharmacist told me there should be no dangerous interaction between the two. I informed him of my dose and everything, it was a 350 milligram pill. 9pm, felt slightly warm in my feet and slightly different mentally, in a mild, subtle, and not really describable way, not really a big deal. 9.15pm, felt a bit woozy and dull mentally. My chest felt weird so I decided to feel my heart. It was the most screwed up erratic heartbeat, skipping beats, beating softly then extremely hard, rapidly then slowly, rotating extremely quickly. I began to feel worried, but in a very detached way, as if the panicky feeling that would normally accompany such a reaction was replaced with the bare thought that it underlied. The drug obviously had some strong anti-anxiety effects. I was also having a lot of trouble breathing, as if I was never getting enough air. 9.40 PM, arrive at the emergency room. In the car, I noticed my heart rate becoming less irregular, but still rapid. I was not feeling anxiety at this point, so I knew it to be drug related. The breathing problem was still present though. By the time I got there, I thought I would be okay. The wait was about an hour, and then I left another hour after that. 10.40 PM, Heartbeat is still slightly irregular, but the breathing thing is aggravating me. I drink two coffees to alleviate it. 12 AM, the adverse reactions have finally worn off. I wrote this to warn people that are taking it recreationally. I thought it would not affect me adversely because I have a naturally high resistance to most depressants, alcohol, benzodiazepines, opiates, but I was totally in the wrong. All it took was one pill, the recommended dosage, to completely screw up my heartbeat, constrict my bronchial passages, and make me feel like I was going to pass out. Who knows what would have happened if I took more. It all started when I found a bottle of my dad's muscle relaxants, known as Carisoprodol, Soma. Over time, I developed an addiction intolerance and also made a mistake me or my family will never forget. I almost lost my life. First, I would like to describe the effects of Soma. Dizziness, euphoria, happy and giggly appearance, relaxation all over your body, mild analgesia effects, similar to being drunk. The mistake. Since I've been using this drug for a period of time, I developed a tolerance and addiction. When I first started using, one pill got me fucked up. Now it takes me six pills to get a buzz. So at 5pm I took six pills. 
I noticed the effects, which lasted for two hours. Being upset, I decided to take eight more pills right away. Even if your high is gone, the chemical is still affecting your central nervous system, so it would be dangerous to take more after a short period of time. There you have it. I took 14 pills total within two hours. I then passed out. 8.37 PM. My parents found me on my floor. They picked me up and woke me. I was in a stage of overdose symptoms. I had tremors and I couldn't walk or talk. Also, I was foaming out of the mouth. I was brought to the hospital and had to stay overnight with an IV in my arm the whole time. The only thing I remember is my parents finding me on my floor and waking up in the middle of the night in the hospital. I went home the next day. They gave me a drug test and for some reason it showed up as LSD. That made me confused also. The next morning, I came back home and went into drug counseling to help my urges to not use again. So there you have it. I took 14 pills in a two hour span. I am lucky to be alive. Don't make the mistake that I did. I was having a pretty good day. I was with my kids that day and my grandmother. We went for a long walk. I had taken my 0.5 milligrams of Xanax all day long. I was supposed to only take one tablet four times a day. I ended up getting the prescription filled on the 24th of March and by the time that the 30th of March came around, I had already taken 66 pills. I was prescribed this medicine by my psychiatrist who knew that I was a recovering addict and also an alcoholic but I was immediately given the medicine and at a strange dose. I was also having trouble sleeping, so I would generally take them at night to sleep. Sometimes I would combo with Soma. Well, the night of March 31st, it was only about 9.30 or 10 p.m. I really can't remember. My mom and I were talking on the phone and she said that I sounded like I was a complete drunk. I was slurring my words. In that amount of time that I was on the phone, even a half an hour before I had already taken 5 milligrams of Xanax, who knows, I lost count after 5, and then I took about 8 350 milligram somas. I was so out of it. So I was mad at my mom for saying that to me. To me, I was high and okay, but not to her. She said that she was coming up, so I hung up on her. I don't really remember much after that, except that my daughter was sleeping in her bed and my son was on the floor sleeping next to me. That's what I was told. I couldn't believe the things that I was told that I said and did. My mom and my sister showed up and luckily, I did not lock my door that night. They took a cab up and came in to see if I was okay. I was not. I was on the living room floor, almost barely breathing. I did not respond even after my mom screaming at the top of her lungs and pounding me on the back to wake me up. I didn't hear or see or remember much. I remember flashes of lights from the ambulance. I couldn't hear any voices. I couldn't really see any people either. The ER was an experience. I had to drink that damn charcoal too. Yuck. It helped me, but I kept passing out. I got to the ER at about 11 p.m. they said, and I didn't get released until 5.30 a.m. I would never want to ever go through that experience. If it weren't for my mom coming there, I would be dead. I couldn't urinate at the hospital because my muscles were so spazzed out from the soma and my kidneys were so painful. They put a catheter in me to force me to pee. It was so awful. I wish that my kids were not seeing me like that and I wish that I had the fucking sense enough to not do that to them. Never do that to your kids. They are what you should be living for. They look to you for guidance and reassurance and for me, that was the most terrible thing to do to them. Their mom almost died on the floor in front of them. You don't do that to a three and a half year old or a two and a half year old. I am getting better. I take it one day at a time. I am a recovering addict and I will tell you all from experience, do not mess with any pills, no matter what. I work as a pharmacy technician and I have been one for three plus years. I knew all about these meds, what they did to the body, and I never thought that it could happen to me.